Hi, I'm Robin with Robin's Re3. What we're going to do tonight, I'm going to show you how to create this buffalo print paint on a disc. Um, because tomorrow's live, I'm going to be doing something with the buffalo print and I wanted you to see ahead of time how it's done. Okay, so I'm going to find the middle of my board here. And we're just going to tape away. Now I'm going to use one as a spacer in between so I get all my lines even. Don't watch the couple online that uses four different paint colors because I did and boy did I mess up. So this is the easiest way I found to do this. There's a lot of projects out there you can do with the buffalo plaid and painting on wood to create that on there is really fun. Yeah, I think a little bit, <laughs> which sometimes I'm not good at. But like I said, I watched this couple and they used four different colors and I messed up so bad that I had to repaint this is painter's tape. Painter's tape comes in one inch and two inch. I'm using one inch. If I had a bigger board, you could get away with using two inch. Okay, so first we're taping this vertical for our first coat. Well, this is going to be white and kind of black. I'm using the same um, technique I used on this board here. You paint your base color whichever way you want. I prefer the red, but I wanted you to be able to see it step by step, so I chose to do one in white too. The key is to make sure that both sides of the tape are secured to the wood because you don't want to get any um, paint bleeding up underneath, which can happen. And there are ways to fix that. Now on this one, I used spray paint. On this one, I just used regular multi-surface craft paint, acrylic craft paint. When I use the spray paint, I always use um, the Krylon that has the paint and primer in it. All right, let me see if I can get a little more light on here for you. There we go. So again, Double check and make sure that both sides of your tape are secure so you don't get any bleeds. Now, the best way I found was to really like dry brush because it's a lighter, a lighter color. And by dry brushing, it dries faster. The whole idea behind the Buffalo check is it's nostalgic. If you remember your grandparents used to wear, at least my grandfather did, he always wore a jacket that had the Buffalo check on it. It was very popular back then. And it's coming back. Now you can take, if you feel that's too dark, you can go back over it and just kind of pull some of the paint off. Like I said, it doesn't take much time to dry when you're doing the dry brush method. All right, now, now what you're going to do, and this is basically because I did such a soft coat on here, it's basically dry already. Sometimes you should leave about three um, 
about 10, 15 minutes between each coat. And see, I'm gonna reuse these. So that's why I'm pulling them off and taping them to the side here. Now you can follow through and go down on your sides if you want, but that part is not gonna show in my design, so I'm not taking it down and over the side. All right, so, which is my longest piece. I'm just kind of eyeballing this because I want to make it look real rustic. Okay, so we're going there. And let's put our spacer in here again so we can get our lines even. Again, pressing as we go to make sure that our ends are secure to the wood. Painter's tape is very forgiving too. I think that's an end. Because you can lift it and place it down our spacer again put our next piece down go back up here this just is time consuming and I didn't want to take away from tomorrow's design. So that's why I'm doing this ahead of time to show you how I painted, um, how I achieved that look. Again, we're going to do the same method that we did. We're just taping it in the other direction. And the dry brushing really makes it go fast. It also gives it like a, a worn look. So it's not perfect, which is a lot of times the way I like to do it. So I'm just going back over to make sure that I have all my sides down. Now you can tape this underneath. Um, you want to leave an overhang so it's easy to pull up. All right, now we're going to go back and we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to be doing it in this direction. And I still have quite a bit on my brush, so I didn't see the need to go ahead and add more to it. Okay. Very simple. Now you see where you have the lighter part, where your original white was. That's the part that we're going to be taping over because we want to keep the lightest part. So you're going back over and you can follow it pretty easy with your, just by eyeballing it because your lines are there from earlier. is not intimidating it looks intimidating and at the beginning it was for me but like I said this is the easiest method 
to achieve that. Because I'll tell you what, I worked all, all, all afternoon on the few pieces that I did and I had to go and redo them. So don't listen to that couple. <laughs> I'll show you an easier way to do it. Okay. And then this. The last piece. Now, go back and make sure all your pieces are laying flat. This doesn't look like it's right. Let's redo this one up higher. Let's take it off and redo. We do. It's easier when it doesn't stick together. There we go. That's better. All right, so all our pieces are laying good and flat. Now, this is the part where you're really going to goop it on. All right, I just kind of brush it off to kind of smooth out my paintbrush. But you're going to be filling in the leftover squares. Try to go in the same direction if you can. This is the one coat that's going to take the longest to dry. A good 10-15 minutes is good. you are in a crunch for time, get out your hair dryer. But this is the part you're gonna goop it on. I just go back to make sure that I have everything filled in. And like I said, you can always go back and touch up, so it's no big deal. All right, I'm going to shut it off now, and I'll be back in 15 minutes. Thank you. Okay, we're back. So let's do the reveal here. Let's start pulling up our tape to see how it turned out. And probably the best thing to do would be to go the way we put it on. Can always touch up any any errors that we have
we go. Buffalo check. See how you have the darker and the lighter? There you go. Probably could have went a little bit darker on that end to take it to the end. So let's see. This has a little bit of paint on it. There's always room for touch-ups. There. This is a little too dark, so I'm going to try and rub some more of that off of there. If the force came to worst, I can always sand it and redo that. I want just a little more right here. Where's my paint? There you go. So that's the technique I used, and um, you'll see it on tomorrow's design at two. Have a great day, evening, whatever time you're watching. Bye bye.